you to bring you the hard hitting facts and hold you after. With me, as always, is my constituent, Alexis Rice and Beans Archer. Hola. <laughs> que tal? <laughs> um, we have actually two special guests. One can't speak, and one is the more special guest. Uh, I'll introduce the second one later. You guys with us in, well, not in studio, in a remote location. Please welcome today's special guest, Tom Arnold. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh, here. There's, <laughs> She's that, terrified. Both, uh, uh, hi. She's got her leg up by her by her head. Is that her leg? But we'll hold it up. Okay. Like Simba. Oh, well that's. <sighs> okay, so now so we cute. ask. She's so cute. She's so cute. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> well, look. Nipples. Mm -hmm. Lady nipples. She's just a little nervous. It's a little dog that you so it rescued. And, uh, uh, that's very nice of you, Eliza. Thank you. You're not here. Oh, that's right. I'm not here. You guys, Tom Arnold is with us in the studio today. He's going to be our correspondent with all things factual, and that is my new dog, Blanche. Long live Catsby, but here's Blanche. Aw. Uh, Fat scared. Pat says, yo, Tom. Basil says, yay, Tom Arnold. Yay, yeah, see, you do have fans. That's nice. I, well, they're, they're, I don't know if you can They're just nice people. Alexis yeah. <laughs> knows a lot about you. She's, she did some research on I you. I did. First of all, on a very serious note, I would like to say that you did an incredible job in the movie Happy Endings. It was just awesome. wonderful, and I just wanted to say Thank that. You. And True Lies. My dad loves True Lies. Jason Ritter, I saw his picture on your intro to your network. He yeah. played my son in that. And True Lies, yes, that was fun. That was fun. I'm very lucky to be in both yeah. those movies. Even more lucky to be holding Blanche. <laughs> Highlight of the year. It reminds me of holding Maggie Gyllenhaal in Happy Endings. Yeah, oh, you're a lucky guy. Very frail. But very mm. frail. Uh, let's get to the hard-hitting facts that hold you after. Dateline, your plate. A new CSPI report, I don't know what that stands for, uh, finds the top 10 riskiest foods regulated by the Federal Dr Food and Drug Administration accounted for nearly 40% of all foodborne outbreaks in the U.S. between 1990 and 2006, spawning nearly 50,000 illnesses. The symptoms ranging from stomach cramps to diarrhea to kidney failure and bad hair. Top 10 are leafy greens, eggs because of salmonella, tuna, and rape cake. <laughs> all right. <laughs> wait, wait, these are things that are bad for you? Because I knew rape cake was bad. <laughs> it tastes so good at first glance. <laughs> Then it gets you on the ground. Well, and what's it's over. But no, what's wrong with leafy greens? Leafy greens have pesticides. Tom? I uh, do. I grew up in Iowa and was sprayed many times by pesticides, which is why I'd never get sick. When I was detaching cord, the crop dust would come right over our heads. Also, we'd get wet, we'd look up, and uh, that's why I never get sick. Sounds you terrible. You poor thing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds horrible. That's, you could have a genetic deformation or I mutation. I do. I do. I have three testicles. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. And one of them, it's not a, I found out, was it wasn't a testicle? Is, it, uh, but it's not cancer either, and they wanted to remove it. I said, no, keep it leave in it. for wait, for real. I'll show you later. Um, okay, great. Uh, that and other promises to be fulfilled later. I thought you'd be like, it's not a testicle, it's a tail. Uh, Stalfos99 says, ask Tom to remember his experience with Triumph the Insult Dog. Does Blanche remind you of Triumph at all? Um, she better not. No. <laughs> Ty was Triumph's first uh, celebrity, <laughs> make fun of person. And... Uh, and uh, what, a, what an experience. Uh, and then on, G uh, uh, not Jimmy, but on uh, Conan's fifth anniversary show, I did that. And then they came and they said, hey, meet this guy, Jimmy Fallon. He's going to be the next big thing at Saturday Night Live. So it's try has been around a long time. He also did the Chabad telethon this last, a couple weeks ago with me, uh, which is a Jewish telethon for a uh, rehab center that takes non-Jewish people too. Yeah, because most of us Jews aren't in rehab. Sorry, got our act together. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I like how Tom Arnold is not petting my dog, but rubbing her hair in all different directions. <laughs> I'm actually fisting your dog right oh now. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Dateline, Ohio, make-believe vampires getting married. The Chronicle Telegram reports that 61-year-old Jack Hollingser, doesn't matter his last name, 44-year-old Connie Spigsnagel, we're both made up as pale. What? <laughs> Who cares? We're both made up as pale-faced vampires for their ceremony Saturday night, uh, and got married at a haunted house. They arrived in a coffin beside a hearse. Uh, after the wedding vows took place, uh, a ceremony next door, a bunch of people dressed up like football players beat the shit out of them for being nerds. Here's the thing. Um, there are no pictures, by the way, because vampires don't show up in pictures. And uh, at the end of the article, it said, is it, it gave the whole article, and then at the bottom, it said, Halloween is October 31st, which was just a nice little button. Here's the thing. Gays can't get married, but loser vampires can. Nerds shouldn't be allowed to get married. Tom Arnold, your thoughts? The gays should be forced to get married. I think if we have to get married, they have to get married too. It's uh, it's no cakewalk. So I think all all people should get married. In Iowa, where I'm from, gay marriage is legal. It's ironic. It's is not, it? it? Yes, it is. We're very uh, progressive in Iowa. Well, I mean, 
you know, we don't care about stuff like that. We care about if it rains and if our crops grow and uh, stuff. And so if people want to get married, you know, let, make, make the jump, you know. And besides, uh, like the governor of California always says, you know, he's in favor of gay marriage because, you know, think of the weddings will be fantastic. You know, they'll be like Whoa. flowers and blues and <laughs> we could text the crap out of them. And so everybody should have the right to get married. And uh, I, I, except married, for. I married some gay people. Wait, everybody, you have to finish that sentence. Everybody should except have the right to marry, except for celebrities. <laughs> except for you. Celebrities marry each other never, should never happen. Here's the thing. Uh, if you're going to make a mockery out of getting married in a coffin, you're a loser. And you're probably just going to spend your whole honeymoon playing D&D &D or World of Warcraft. Look at that. Oh, look how comfortable she looks. You haven't seen my Big Redneck Wedding, my classic show on CMT, where only classic I have seen people that. get married. I have seen that. No, but everybody has to write. You know, my brother had a hearse for a while. He's weird. Don't come think of it. A her and what gay. is that saying? Till death do us part? Or we could just die now and cut out the whole living thing. Look at this dog. Look at my dog. Right. Look at my dog named Blanche. Yes. Yeah. Who so, cares? Okay. Are you getting married? I am getting married in November. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be my Yay. fourth ring, just like Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I believe it, I'm not, a, I was never a dater, uh, and uh, nice. I've been, uh, like, uh, people could date and, like, be, and I've always been sort of, you know, like, oh, if I date a whole bunch of people, it's like cheating, so, you know, Only I've, if you I've don't made tell some, them. What's that? Only if you don't tell the other ones. Well, but, you, but, but it's so complicated, you have to call people back and stuff, and I'm not recommending people do that, I say date. And then in your 30s, may, you know, meet somebody and then just stick with the vows and just stay married because it's not better out there. I have, I, have, I have better advice. What I like to do is not have a boyfriend and be sad about it and then take the first one that comes along. Oh, you'll be plenty sad being married. <laughs> and oh, you'll yeah. be especially sad and lonely knowing that you're actually living with someone that you've given half of your stuff to and they don't like you. So, and you can't go out with anybody else either. But believe me, marriage, if you want loneliness and heartache and sorrow, Get married. That sounds exciting. Yeah. It's really I'm great. I'm really looking yeah. forward to future relationships. Thank you, Tom yeah. Arnold, our marital correspondent. Um, also, in Iowa. Bottom and Whimsy say, Congrats, Tom. The, the DCD2000 says, Ask him what it was like to do the Joan Rivers roast, which Eliza was also at. Yeah, but not as much as he was. No. I was very nervous. I don't like to do roast set because you make fun of people and they make fun of me and they do the same three jokes. But I, they asked me to do it the night before, and I like Joan Rivers. She's nice. She's awesome. And so I did it, and uh, they cut out my best joke, though. She's such a perfectionist. When her husband sent her a suicide note, she sent it back for a rewrite. Whoa! Oh, that's a good one. Hard yeah, to cut gold. Good. But I, but I, uh, I, I have feel funny about those roasts. I, I don't like to make fun of people too much. Uh, I, yeah. I, that's why I prefer to just stay in the back at table 312 in the back. You were so the lucky. Bleachers. It was an awesome party, though, afterwards. Yeah, I the wish, party was oh, awesome. I wish I drank. Uh, I ate everything, and then I went home. Oh, I did that. Yeah. I did the eating. But it, but it's really, it's good. as far as roasts go, they did a really good job. And usually I'm brought in, I only did one of the roasts on TV, and I, knew, I realized once I got there I was brought in because they, they could make fun of me as well as the people they that's were roasting. That's why they do, yeah. Yeah. And I get it. The three jokes. Yes. I what was are the married. three jokes? Quick. Number one. Okay. I've been married a lot. Married Roseanne. Uh, I have no talent and my movies suck. And Wait. I now suck. you're on their fifth finger. I suck. How many fingers are you supposed and to And you have? can't count. That's the main thing it's we made fun of. Basically, I suck. Well, you know what? The important but thing is that, that you're here. I knew that going in. I knew that going in. Brian, if you don't show me more, we're going to have a problem. Thank you. Done. All right. Done. Dateline! Line. Cure for restless leg syndrome? Who knows? Speaking of being alone, but maybe not alone, Wheaton, Illinois, a college student has been charged with breaking into the unlocked apartments of three women and rubbing their legs as they slept. Uh, authorities said <laughs> attorney Brooks Locke said three different women at an apartment complex where the suspect lived reported to the police that they were awakened by a man dressed in a research shirt with mountains on it. JK. Aha. Aha. LRG. Okay. Uh... The uh, men uh, broke into their place, and they woke up. He was rubbing their legs. Uh, no other contact was reported. Tell you what. Uh, Is that a crime? How could that be a crime? No, there's, there's a thing. He's, there's a tip. Oh, if, am I jumping on your joke? No, no. If the guy was hot, he, it wouldn't have been a crime. I'd be like, oh, you're hot. That's okay. But maybe they didn't shave. They're embarrassed. Oh, for sure. Got to get rid of your hair shorts. Yeah. That's a weird one. It's funny how weird people get with their specific weirdness. I'm generally weird. And so, like, I, you know, like... I might eat a whole uh, wedding cake tonight. I mean, that's how weird. Just out of depression or, I mean, that's wedding cake's out of delicious. Being addicted Royal to sugar and, and maybe a little depression and not, you know, a little bit of everything. Where are you going to get it? You're going to order one. Uh, Hanson's is really good here. They have the best wedding cakes. Uh, but, you know, uh, I also, you know, what birthday cake. What are you looking cakes. at me for? 
You have to, I have to be on you 50% of the time. I know, behind. but not when I'm fixing my hair on the monitor. Right. If this is going to go down the tubes, <laughs> it's going to go down the tubes my way. But, by the way, that guy, he seems like he's in a bunker in, in Kandahar, or Afghanistan, when he's talking. Uh, Brian? You know, he likes to be on camera. Is he a producer? Because I never let producers like oh, Brian's an underwear model that we hire. <laughs> just to walk around and make me feel wanted. Dead. Oh, we're not doing that. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, the point me. is, if that guy were hot, no one would mind. In all honesty, like if it, it's. Are you talking about the producer? I know. No. If you're, if you're hotter, it wouldn't be so weird. He's like, no. Here's the thing, that people mind because he's breaking into their places. I mean, it's this is such a weird thing to be touched by somebody. Like, Some people like that. The, the like the surprise touching. Yep. I don't. I don't. It's I don't happened know a lot. It's happened before. You know, I don't mind being pitched on the ass or something like that. Uh, like a funny thing. <laughs> guys but don't. Girls I don't do. know. I have a guy friends that will grab, right? You know, that's how they greet each other. And it's weird. What? There's always a guy. Well, first of all, every group of guys has one guy that takes their penis out all the time <laughs> and shows it. And Michael Rosenbaum. Uh, is one Can of this the be guys. a quick clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll show that and do the wordly word. Then I got my buddy uh, Mo in Iowa. He does it. So at my bachelor party, I had two sets of friends. Two sets of With dicks. one penis shower in each group. So there's two. So it became sort of weird. Did they sword fight it out or were they just like, well, did they know? Well, here's what happened. Dax Shepard, who's an actor, he's a friend of mine, he's yes. my best man. He said, please look behind you. We're out by the pool. Please look at the at the glass door so Rosebob will quit standing there naked showing his penis. So he tapped. So I looked at him and gave him a thumbs up. And then he was satisfied. Then later, Mo came out and was he making got the dinner okay. naked. And so I, we, I gave him his, you know, hey, funny, funny, funny. You know what quells the urge to walk around naked doing stand-up? Because then people look at you all the time. You get get your two friends in front of an open mic, they will stop flashing everyone because they'll feel so naked while... No, no, they won't. They won't stop. Here's another thing, too. If you have a giant penis, and I'm not saying they do, but that the urge <laughs> to be naked is is very great. And also, uh, women, they guys think women like that, but it's really not true. No, it's not true. Penises are super gross looking. Hi, Mom. All right. <laughs> Let's get to a new segment that we have. Uh, somebody, oh, God, and I forgot the name, and I feel bad. We have a segment called uh, You Should Be Shot, Who Should Be Shot. And I made an awesome graphic, and then someone else was like, your graphic was weak, so they made me one. So here's our new graphic for our new segment, Who Should Be Shot? Who should be shot? Oh, but obviously the cat's going to shoot the dog. I didn't even think about that. Now she you never know, though. You never know. Yeah. Sometimes she might turn they turn on, her own on each other. That's true. Sometimes so cats only allow one cat to succeed, and then they hold the others back. Whoa. Oh, I'm talking about women. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, yo. Whoa, you're outnumbered here, buddy. Oh, my God. Look at this dog. My name is Blanche. I've got nipples. All right. Uh, for me, you should be sure. shot. Here we go. London. Chef Heston Blumenthal has apologized to diners who fell ill. Uh oh, that looks oh, bad. Oh, boy. After eating his uh, cel celebrated restaurant, the, at the Fat Duck, his restaurant. Um, Blumenthal said in a letter made publicly Friday he is sorry that the diners had a bad experience at his restaurant earlier this year, which serves its customers outlandish foods such as egg and bacon ice cream and powdered pigeon. Ugh. Let's take a survey. Survey says who should be shot, the chef or the restaurant goers? Uh, uh, do we have to, where do we shoot them? I mean, that, in the that, face, if possible. Uh, uh, well, you know what you're getting into, so you can't really shoot the chef and, uh, the, you know, I, I guess uh, you have to shoot some Where's of the diners. Where's the phone ringing? That can't be my phone. How okay. is a phone? I don't think we have phone. Okay, so you say the chef. Well, I mean, if you're going to shoot somebody. No, no, the diners. The they, diners, they, right, right. They know they're ordering powdered pigeon. Exactly. And that, that ice cream sounded kind of good. Only on the weekly news can Tom Arnold say powdered pigeon. That was awesome. Uh, I Alexis. I say the restaurant, the chef should be shot because what? there's times that you go to a restaurant. Throw paper at like, her. Okay. No, no, no. There's times where you go to a restaurant, you read the menu, and you're like, oh, foie gras. Hmm, that sounds interesting. And it, it's like all spelled out in a way that sounds delicious, and there's cheese on the menu, That's and you're like, great. No, and then you, you know what foie gras is. I'm just saying. Unless you're poor. That some people are adventurous eaters. And but, but, but powdered pigeon powdered is pretty pigeon. specific. Powdered pigeon. <laughs> well, what if it said bacon in there? Here, and this is bacon. Like, oh, awesome. They have it'd be bacon. Awesome. Everything's exactly. better with bacon. They have bacon ice cream. Now, here's the thing. You're, what, truffles aren't exotic enough? You gotta go powder pigeon? You're a jerk for eating their audience. Uh, <laughs> restaurant goers get shot. It's decided. Carry it out. <laughs> what if they do the feathers to the powder pigeon? It just seems easier to- Powder the whole thing. This oh, is, well, you well, dehydrate well, the entire close. bird, powder it, it's like astronaut food. <laughs> it's fantastic. Tang. Uh, pigeon tang. Pigeon tang. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. That's the worst, it. I know, it's the worst thing to eat. 
It's the worst thing to set. Oh. No, it's not. It's not the worst thing to eat. I mean, the, I the actual powder boontang. Ugh. Yeah, I like the real life. It's very yeasty. This is, I don't like where the show is going. Yeah. It's taking a nosedive into yeah. Blanche Land. We have a stripper pole in the room. Do you, you want to get on it? No, but I mean, I think you should, I think I, you should I, get I, on I, it. I'm, a, I'm afraid I break it. I'm too fat. No, apparently it supports everyone's weight. You should just do a whirl, a whirl around it. A whirl, yeah, uh, I, I, I can't, for your sake. And plus, I broke my scapula in a motorcycle wreck last fall. I read uh, that. Yeah, Joel well, had to go pick up my motorcycle. Do you have a scar? So embarrassing. No, no, because I just broke my scapula. It's a triangle bone. Yeah. It's the best bone to break. Oh, uh, I think I know what a scapula is. Really? I didn't until I broke it. I, I'm just kidding. I thought it was my shoulder. I went, went to pick up my it's mirror right and here. I was like, oh, right? crap, I broke my shoulder. Oh, I can't God. work. So that's a no to the stripper pole. Alexis, well, would I mean, you like I want to see it tested. Have the, have the Alexis, Johnny David character go. Alexis, tested. would you, or Jared? Ha, wait, you're the camera guy. No one's going to see this. I learned this last week. This is stupid because no one can see stinky, what he's doing. It? Wait, no, it's I, I weigh 240 pounds. I'm 6'2". Okay. Okay, I'm okay, way I'll too fat for that. What? The max weight is 240. Huh? You're 200? Yeah, but Wait, that extra 40 stop is Stop what we're doing. This is stupid. No one at home can see it. Now you're looking at Tom, which is... No one saw okay, what he just Okay, let me just describe this. There's a guy that looks like Johnny Damon. He works here. He's a camera no guy. No one who watches the show nice knows guy. who Johnny Damon is. Johnny Damon is. plays. He's played for the Red Sox. He's played for Kansas City, but now he plays for the New York Yankees. He's, he's a good-looking guy that looks kind of Asian. Okay, <laughs> the, that's that guy. He looks like him. He got the strip pole. He's kind of chubby. I noticed he had kind of a fat ass. Go but, to camera but two. I like that, guys. Can you do any tricks? Gross. That's so gross. Maybe it's your pants. Take your take your thing off. By thing, I mean take your skin off. Oh, you got a good body. I apologize. Take off your shirt so we can understand. What's going on? I took off my shirt. The DCD. He's really a nice guy, though. Wait, wait, you're doing the whole thing where Do you, you go around. Do you have a girlfriend? Take off your shirt so that people, at the gay yeah. viewers, can get it. Yeah. Uh, Hair209 says, I nominate Alexis. Veg says, Alexis, pole position Let's go, Archer. Alexis. Yeah, Star come on, come on. Let's go, Alexis. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, can we play music? Wait, stop. Chloe, can we Never play music? Stop. Off of B Familia's album, Alexis, don't you dare start. Do it. Put a ring Alexis, on it. Wait, Alexis is the length of the pole. She's very sexy. Spin around as fast as you can, Alexis. Please don't go yet. Go. See how hard it is to be a stripper? You could vomit. That's really good workout. That's good. You have good Put arm your legs strength. out. Put She does P90X. Put your does legs straight really? out. Yeah. Put your legs straight out. Oh, my God. No, I'm telling you how to do this physics-wise. physics, physics wise. All right. Okay. The show is good. When are you going to do it? I'm not doing it. I went to college. Well, I went to college too, but... Well, you're not on. I know. I was just not If I was uh, skittier, I would do it. If strippers I, don't do short hair. I would look like, it'd be like, why is that girl? Strippers have to have long oh hair. Oh, my God. In Tomo, Iowa, at Chills and Thrills, they have all have had abdominal surgery. That's where I grew uh, up. That's not abdominal surgery. That's a C-section. I know. But oh. that's what we call it. <laughs> Abdo surge. Uh, speaking of strip clubs, this is kind of... I'm going to say it's funny. Real Housewives of Atlanta, which I can't stop watching. This real Housewives of Atlanta? He has enunciate. I'm so, my mistake. I don't do it either. I, I, I know. Problem, but I have Asperger's <laughs> syndrome, so, so that's I your have excuse? an excuse. Yeah. Uh, I'm just so excited about Real Housewives of Atlanta. One oh, of yeah. the girls on there was in a band called Escape. Escape. And she's engaged to this guy that's got like six kids. And he was recently found dead after a blunt for trauma to the head because he got hit in the head at a strip club. So he's dead. What's your fiance doing at a strip club? It's kind of funny to me. Like, of all so the ways to go. So he deserves to get hit on the head. Uh, so he deserves of... to die. Maybe no. he was there rescuing people, doing an intervention. Oh, my God. Blanche, you don't need to. You can make money other ways. You don't need to be there. Oh, my God. Look how she lifts her legs up. Because she shakes it for the money. Yeah. I should put the dog on the pole. That won't not end well. All right. Strip clubs are sad. <laughs> they, yeah, of sad. course they're sad. Yeah. You know, they made them illegal in Iowa. So, uh, but gay marriage is totally no. Loose. But but what you do is they said it's an art studio, so they give everybody a, a, a piece of paper and a pen when you come in, and you get to draw the the strippers. Oh, I thought you were going to say art. you get to rate them, which would just do wonders for their self esteem because it's already through the roof. Yeah, it all takes right. a lot of guts to get up there and do that on the pole. I want to give shout out to all the strippers that are trying to make ends meet and take care of their families to do that. I used to work at Hormel for three years. I'd rather be a stripper. Speaking of naked and jobs, <laughs> Everett, Washington, five Washington State baristas were charged, charged, charged customers to touch their breasts and buttocks at an espresso stand where servers wear bikinis and draw business, police said. The five were charged Wednesday with prostitution. Charging money for that kind of touching falls under the city's definition of prostitution. The Everett Wait a minute, aren't they judges? What do you mean? Did you say bar barristers? 
Baristas. Oh, this or is not sorry. England. A barista. Oh. That's right. I always thought about that because they sound exactly the same. I know. It's so cool. It's so cool what, <laughs> what the two countries can do if they put their minds together. But this is great. With this economy, this is thinking outside of the box. I got nothing. I find no problem with this whatsoever. If these people are paid, if they pay their taxes. No, you can't. That's prostitution. But here's the funny part. You're no, right it's not this. really prostitution. It is it's not. It's by, Deemed by the local law it is. So it's it's how you want to well, interpret it. Well, you know, we've got to change with the world. They were charging extra. So you could touch their boobs and like well, that. Of course you but it's a extra. coffee stand. Here's the name of the coffee stand: Grab and Go Bikini Hut. It's called Grab and Go. So what? It's self fulfilling prophecy. Right. So you should. They already gave the information out. They they, oh, they don't have a case. I feel sorry. You know what? Uh, like it's so weird. But the difference between men and women. Women get paid to touch, and we pay. That's what keeps the economy. Women get paid going. to touch what? Well, I mean, no, to touch anything out of woman, it costs money. But what do we pay? What was the first part? You never pay. Of course we pay not. you. No, actually, on the most hated show ever, Tyra Banks today, they did a story about a woman who pays a man to take her out because she's like, I'm too busy for a man. So she pays someone, and it's very weird. It's well, very that, unnatural. No, is he a driver? Maybe she's an alcoholic. No, no, no. They went on a date, and they, like, made out. He's like a male prostitute. What the, whoa, whoa. Where'd she live? <laughs> this is a, There'd be so many men lining up for this job. I, I'm just telling you. I know, I know. The, the whole, was creepy. she an older lady or she's crippled or something? She's a divorcee. I think she's like in her 40s. And well, she what's wrong thought with she was, that? Who's to judge? Here's what's wrong with it. She kept smiling because she thought she was super cute, but she didn't have a cute smile. There's nothing worse it. than that. Yeah. See, a woman would see it that layer. I only see on, on the outside. Here's what I saw the whole time. Like, this was her smile. She was like, oh, it's so fun, right? And I was like, oh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be looking like an alien. Wait, wait. Were you doing Tyra just now or the No, guest? the woman. Oh, okay, got it. If you want to see Tyra, I can go get my Tyrannosaurus Rex teeth and head, and I can eat you. And she that would be my person. With, with, you could what? She, she went to high school with one of my ex-wives. Tyra Banks? Yes. She, she is, went to high school? Oh, uh, She yes. went to, definitely went to high school. <laughs> and she was tall and gangly, and then she turned out to be a beautiful Victoria's Secret model. S me too. And so did it's, Tyra it's Banks. everyone's story. <laughs> Here's the deal. Tyra Banks fakes charisma. I've never seen someone fake charisma worse than Tyra Banks. I stand by that. I normally don't talk crap on celebrities. She's the worst. Her and Kimora Simmons. Um, um, Telemundo714 says, can you ask Tom Arnold if he believes that prostitution should be legal? <laughs> I, I, I do believe it should be legal and regulated uh, um, because I, I think it should be legal. I think marijuana should be. I don't, I'm sober, but I think it should be legal. I think uh, that it should be legal and regulated and taxed. Speaking of prostitution, Dateline! Stockholm, Sweden. Three Americans whose 1960 research led to the foundation of today's world for computerized images and fiber optics were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2009. When interviewed, the scientist said, it's about fucking time. It's 40 years later. I just gotta get these stories in. People have to know what's going on in the world. They can't all be prostitutes and dog nipples, Tom. Are you against it? You don't think prostitution should be legal? I mean, people- It's totally illegal. Uh, they, they control it and it's like a hospital environment and like everybody's no, safe and they don't spread AIDS. Thing. No and then they pay money and they pay taxes. And then like, think about the like old pot. guys that are in wheelchairs that don't get a chance to get out. It's a service they provide. I think I think everything should be legal and, re and we can regulate it and tax it. Prostitution, right. you want to do that, that's fine. If you get herps and chlamydia, then that's your problem. Well, but that's the point of regulating it. <laughs> it should be a hospital type environment. A hospital type environment in that like you have sex with like iodine condoms no but and it's like when i get my sperm checked i have to go to a hospital and go into a small room with lesbian porn and they check it to see if i have any so i could get a baby what that's what they do at fertility <laughs> clinics it's not so you can get a baby it's so, so, why, so you, they, are they, you donating your sperm no I, I tried to in college that's why i found out i had a low sperm count but she woke up exactly <laughs> no i they said 35 dollars every time and so I thought, I can do that three times a day. My roommate and I went down there. But you, apparently you aren't supposed to masturbate for 72 hours before you go down to build up. So it did work out. I was going to do a call back to the leg touching story, but I threw the paper at Alexa. So um, there goes that. That's okay. I don't need any more abuse. Justin77 wants to know, Tom, according to James Cameron, he does not want to do a True Lies sequel. What do you think about that? Can you talk about it? Jim Cameron's a good friend of mine. We uh -oh. ride motorcycles on the weekends. And then you broke Ooh. his scapula. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> you blame James Cameron for that one. The only one. people, Arnold broke his shoulder and I, and I broke my scapula. We were the only people injured. And I, yes, J Jim Cameron does not want to make a movie called True Lies 2 uh, because, uh, you know, of the, the content. But, uh, but I would guess that after Avatar, by the way, I saw Avatar. It's the best movie I've ever seen. Really? And I don't like those crazy 3D stuff. But the message and the... You know, I've never seen anything like it. It's going to be the next... I, I've never seen... But did I, you I, see Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? 
Yeah, but that might be good too. It's very good. But this one had my heart like it. What and when it all comes together, the story, which I just can't tell you. But after that, I'm sure that when Arnold's done being governor, we'll do something together. Isn't an avatar like the little icon that you use when you're like in a chat room? No, it's like like you can make your own avatar. It's like on Mortal Kombat, the video game, you can like make your own like cartoon, like three D cartoon. It's the same. It's the same. That's what I'm talking about. Can I tell you what it is? It's a ten foot tall. Uh, thing that looks like Angelina Jolie and can really act well for being uh, drawn on pic- things. That's what it, in the movie it is. Oh, that explains it. That's good. I'm glad we did this. I'm so glad. Movie talk with Tom Arnold and my dog with eight nipples. Uh, let's get to a segment we like to call the Grand Old Dance Party. Oh, God. Do it! I make it play. I make it play. That, this is the song you, you pick? Chloe pick. Chloe! Who's the song by? This is my brother. No, it's not supposed to be in different studios. Chloe, you could have picked, like, it felt like a death march. I don't know how to dance. Can you pick a faster song and quit ruining my life? I wonder how people just stay on to see your underwear. Yeah, we're not going to see it if we can't pick a fucking song that works. Um, Said you told Chloe any... Thing off that album. I thought she would interpret that as anything Who's that album? sounded. What album is that? This is uh, a rapper, a local What's rapper. Name? What's the name? Uh, his name is Be Familiar. You can be mean to me. You can't be mean to Chloe. You're not allowed. Oh, Chloe. You're not allowed. I say racist things all day long, and this is where we draw the line. You're not allowed to be mean to Chloe. You can be mean to me all you want, though. Chloe. I prefer it. Chloe, get your head out of your ass. Let's play some uh, good music. Senior Shutter says undies. Um, Gra- I want a grand old dance party. House 15 says, hey, panties. That's all for you, Eliza. Why don't you show off your haunches? Because there's no music. Because Chloe's pouting. <laughs> I do you have... use local? Is that what you do? You you introduce local uh, It's artists? really just about music that I can use for free. And uh, Be right. Familiar was That's not kind enough to give me his CD. Chloe, will you please play a fast song? Please. Uh, I have please. some trivia Joker, while we're you waiting. Give me the one. We'll get you another one. Okay, you gotta, oh, let's do a piece of trivia in the meantime. Okay. Okay, so this is a Simpsons slash Tom Arnold trivia. Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. <laughs> Tell me you're from um, Pittsburgh. I know. I'm slow because of the energy no, drink. You're you're, <laughs> no, you're slow because you are. Say it. No, okay, I'm not going to say that. Um, you, okay. Which Simpsons character is, is used? Me? Oh, is that I, what it is? I was going to say Mexican, but I was just <laughs> oh, They're fast. <laughs> Either could know. be true. Um, which like. Simpsons character is used to parody Tom Arnold's char- character in True Lies? Go! You guys can't answer. What? Yeah, that's right. Alexis, no, very don't. impressed. <laughs> Jared, you better mount no, that music. I swear right to now. God, you're so Quick. fired if hey, you do that. <laughs> I'll kill you. It's Jared. the last time. What? what is it? No, I was wrong. Oh. Ha ha ha. Uh. Do you know what it is? Uh, zombie Sniper says she's Italian, just so you know. Do I get, hey, I, Zombie Sniper, way to tune into the zombie show. Zombie Sniper, <laughs> go for it. Uh, no, Italian. it is not Rainier Wolf Castle. No, that's Didn't obviously I, Tom, I Tom Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nope, Justin77 said oh, Troy, McClure. Troy McClure. Troy McClure? Yes, they is did like Is it supposed like to like be you? No, I mean, yeah. no, it's supposed to be Arnold, right? Hi, I'm Troy McClure. No, that is uh, not no, Tom Arnold. Really? Yeah, Rainier I know Wolf Castle is, is, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold, and then there's they do one where they parody True Lies and they use Grand Old Dance Party. You what? can't just shout things yes, out. I well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Here we go. I think I did. Let's get some of that rape cake in here. <laughs> Give you a body roll. With the dog. Look how petrified she is. She's very sweet, that dog ears. Isn't she the best? Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. Good eating. Okay. Look how they're uneven too. That's very interesting. Her haunches? Her nipples. Oh, she's just like her mother. <laughs> Alexis is her mother. All right, you I'm guys. Her father. You're what else her do we mother. have here? Uh, you want to do some more trivia, and then we're gonna do trivia. Yeah. Nerd corner. Uh, where did Tom Arnold get his bachelor's degree? Thank you for degree? dancing, by the way. That was fun. Yes. Chris Hardwick <laughs> didn't dance. No. Chris Hardwick is gay. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here on the Weekly News. Chris Hardwick is gay. This he just be. He's that good looking. He's really good looking. Most Very really good looking. good looking guys are gay. Wouldn't dance. 
Yeah. Uh, Poolman802 knows quite a lot about Tom. University of Iowa is where he got his bachelor's. The Buckeye State. The Hawkeye. The Hawkeye oh, my State. God. The Hawkeye State. Please do not say that. It's the Hawkeyes. I said Hawkeye. The Hawkeye. And you heard Buckeye. And I, uh, Camera on me. Very proud, Hawkeye. <laughs> Hawk, I was in Iowa recently. Really? Uh, where were you? A couple different colleges. I can't remember them now. There's a bunch of them. But I've been to Des Moines several times. My father works for pr pr Principal Financial and their, their headquarters yes, they in are. Des, Mo they are Des Moines. Des yeah, we're very proud of that. Yeah, I'm from Oshawa, Iowa. O T T U M W A, Southeast Iowa, about 90 miles southeast of Des Moines. And uh, went to Indian Hills Community College first, and then I went to the University of Iowa after I worked at Hormel for three years. Hormel. Yeah. I love, you know what? First speeding ticket, I was going 100 miles an hour through Iowa and I got pulled over. It's hard to get pulled over to get a ticket there. Very apparent. Someone called 911 on me. Where this guy had nothing else to do. It's a two lane do. road. Were you on the Interstate 80 where it's a two Probably lane? I was going to South Dakota. So, so you're heading up, uh, were you on a big highway? Because we only got a couple It was just ones. like a long road. It was just basically you rent a car and they're like, hey, here's a road, dare you not to speed. I just wanted to go. Right. Miles, but there's a lot of times there'll be uh, a corn chucker combines out there or something and that makes it dangerous. What? Corn chucker combines, they're big uh, oh, yeah, combine. equipment yeah. and uh, you know, but uh, you know it's very seldom that somebody gets a speeding ticket there. Well, uh, apparently I am seldom because I got a speeding ticket. Did they take you to jail? No, I could have gone to jail. He I know. reduced it. 20 over. I cried, and he I didn't look cute, So, and I was wearing like a lime green sweatsuit, no makeup, and he did not find that adorable. And I then I got something in the mail from Iowa saying, uh, we're going to suspend your license in the state of Iowa unless you pay. And I was like, well, looks like it's suspended. I'll try to refrain from going to Iowa. But We're very proud of our highway patrols in Iowa. They are, All they two are of the them? best of the best. Yeah, Mike and Jerry, good guys. Let's get to the next part of the hard hitting <laughs> facts that hold you after. We have a new segment uh, in an effort to boost ratings. I've been told that apparently showing my underwear and random animals I adopt and bringing on celebrity guests isn't enough. I have to talk about video games. So we have a new segment we like to call Nerd News. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Level three. <laughs> I made that graphic. What? Boom. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why am I Luigi? Uh, Luigi because is you're like tall. The retarded brother. No, you're tall. And he never gets dates. What is up with that? <laughs> he raped the princess. They share her. You and I can tag team a toad princess. Cool. You um, have to be Luigi because you're taller and Italian. I'm Mario because I have cobby legs. Oh, Mario Brothers. That's yeah. the game. <laughs> what did you think it was? I had no idea what the game was. It's like two lesbians in overalls. I know Pac Man <laughs> really well. Well, that's... That's old school. I got an old school uh, table that has everything on it. You play Pac-Man on Atari, right? Yeah. No, oh, no, no. On the, on a, the, the you have console, one of those game know. consoles that has like Centipede yeah. and all that stuff yeah, on it. Yeah, those, those things are all fun. the old ones. The other ones are too hard. Centipede's the best. And the Gal Galacta, Galactica. I like the regular Pac-Man. Pac-Man's good. I just like it. I The last thing I really cared about was Street Fighter, which we were talking about last week. Uh, I've got to give this piece of news. Are you ready? Brace yourselves. With the Halo video game, game developer Bungie created a space opera mythology for the Microsoft Xbox game systems to rival Star Wars. Now it appears the franchise is aiming to emulate George Lucas' expanded universe. About 2.5 million people have bought the latest Halo 3 ODST game, $60 for Xbox 360. Since it was released two weeks ago, a nice reception for a game that doesn't star Halo main man, the Master Chief. Instead, players control a squad of futuristic special forces known as Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, ODSTs, deployed to fight off the enemy forces on the Covenant attack, attacking Earth. Halo 3 has generated more than $105 million. I'm skipping all of this because my nipples are starting to fall this off. This is ridiculously, uh, unbelievably boring. Yeah, but you, uh, that's, good, that's, I know. you wouldn't even know if it was true because it's all gibberish. It's comp I may as well be speaking Chinese. Right. If you want Joel video Joel do you understand this? That's why it's just that he knows everything about this Do you stuff. know what I'm talking about? How Halo, this thing about Halo. Halo uh, is good, right? There's a, there's a trailer that's like a movie. There's a trailer like a movie in it. Cool. Listen, he, you know what else is good? Movies. You know what else is good? Not playing. If you want video game facts, here's what you do. Go to MSNBC. I'm sorry. Go to Google.com. Type in video game. First thing you see, cut and paste it onto your news and then read it with your boobs out. That's what I say about video games. <laughs> oh, I hit her right in the head. You have to oh, tell that's... things to me. I like video games. Oh, why don't you give us What's your favorite you one? Quick, and it better not be Halo. It's not. It's uh, Street Fighter, the third Wah. one. Wah. Oh, wow. Wah. That's really cool. Wah. Street yes. Fighter was in our story last week. Street, that's such a And lately I've been playing Boom Blocks, which is pretty awesome because it's like Jenga. But I like it. Solitaire. That's a really good <laughs> game. And it's, it, I can play it over and over. Like I play a thousand times, and I keep track of how many games I played uh, and how many cards I got because I'm 
I have something wrong with me. Boring. I know. I can't I can't do the video game thing and I made that montage. I should get credit for knowing all those gaming systems. I didn't have to look them up. I knew them. I can name all of them. I had mo I had a Game Boy. I had a Game Boy. We can end on that. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to add to that? No, I think you did a great job. Thank you, Tom. I think it's a great. I think you've done uh, enough. I, I think you've done enough damage. I have yeah. a question. What? Uh, so you're really good friends with the governor. Mm -hmm. Do you get like a get out of jail free card or anything? Like what well, are the parts to that? Well, why would I be that? in jail? No, I no, know. we don't. I don't Based on I, the statements you've made during the show, yeah, I can't imagine. Uh, well, why. let me just say this. I, we're friends, like real friends. So I, I don't. I'm not on any commissions or anything like that. I don't want to be because it would look bad, and we'd be in more trouble than we've already gotten into. So, uh, but one thing we have learned is that the governor's ta phone calls from his office are state property. So, like, if, let's so say hypothetically he called me and we had a funny phone conversation, you can't the LA put it on Times YouTube. could play that, and his wife would hear it. You can put it on YouTube. It's public domain. We know. We aren't doing that anymore. Uh-oh. We're just yelling, and my Joel is talking to his assistant, Clay. He's a great guy. I don't, uh, uh, jail, uh, I, I even, I'm going to a uh, jury thing. Right, Joel? Jur I might have jury duty. I'm going to ask you this one more time. Yeah. Do you want to get on the stripper pole? I'm, I'm afraid it won't. Um, I, um, How about you swing around at once? I don't know if I can swing. I don't think I've ever swung around. I think anything. he's going to do it, folks. Let's give no, him a little I mean, bit of encouragement. I'm going to test out the weight. I, I'm just really fat, and I just uh, what I mean. This this part here is annoying. The, we're going to we'll detach you. Can he's going to do it. I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is fantastic. All right. Celtic oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like you're eating Tokyo. <laughs> it's Godzilla. Okay. Get up here. Get up here. I did this. Me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, should I bring oh, the dog? Yeah, we'll do a double. Like, you probably know how to swing and everything. Not, I'm not swinging into you. Um, no, I just want to narrate the fact like that, that Eliza uh, is on the stripper pole in her swing. underwear with nice. Tom Arnold. Stripper pole. Somebody yeah. may die. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Great old dance party. <laughs> the way the grand old dance party should have been. It's a disintegrate. Okay, I'm going to work. Bad Boy 24 says booty, booty, booty everywhere. <laughs> Tom, give us your best stripper move. What's your best? If I was, if I had a thousand dollars and you wanted, how would you get it? Other than crushing everyone in the front row. It might. It's wonderful cardio. It is good. It's good muscle. The when you grab onto the. This creature is terrified. <laughs> Yeah, he really looks like he only has, or she only has one look on her face, and that's I could care less. And that's please feed me. I'm so scared. <laughs> Tom, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for participating. <laughs> you guys are nice, and you have a great show. And that's nice that people watch. Thank you. That's it a plug. It is nice of them. <laughs> that's not. Oh, they seem like very nice people, but people, they're, they're not. Our fans are horrible. Text message. They're very. Uh, tell. Is anybody? Do you have any more trivia you want to do before we get out of here? Uh, I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lace up, Bobby. Okay. Tom, Something really well, good. It's so good that'll be like the ending thing. Something that people will remember for decades. Okay, but you're going to get this one. And it's Tom Arnold's character on Roseanne was named, which is a, like a pun on your name. I love Go. that show. Hold on, let me think. Uh, do, do you Arnie, yes? you don't Arnie, 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 is Arnie that it? what? Arnie what? Arnie Arnold. Nope. Arnie Tom. Close, uh, close, uh, Arnie close. Thompson. No, Tom close, Linson. shorter. Tom, Tommy, shorter. Arnie Tommy. Tom. Tall, 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 tall no, man. No, no, Arnie Tom, short. Tom, Tom's. Thomas. Yes! Thomas! Thomas! <laughs> Thomas! Are you Thomas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's uh, Jackie GT Thomas? So Jackie Thomas. Um, hey, got hey it. does anybody uh, remember the Jackie Thomas show out there? Nope. Anyone? I, I know. I don't. Well, in there, out there. If you do, right, uh, tell me because we're trying to, we're going to do DVD, I think. For those it's of you. It's actually a good show in spite of me being on it. Oh. Well, I remember that show, your show. Uh, yeah. Same. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to say no. I thought you were talking no, about something no, else. No, it's okay. I didn't mean like, no. No, I thought it was funny when you said that. Oh, okay. Uh, St. Apathy says, yes, they remember. Liam Jim says, sure. Celtic Michael says, oh, yeah. In Gaelic. GT25 um, says, yeah, yes, it wasn't too bad. It oh, wasn't that's bad. Nice. It's actually pretty good for, good for me. Oh, God, I'd be seeing red if someone said that about my show. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> 
Did you go I mean, it? compared to my other shows, it was really good. Uh, but a lot of people started off on that show that became big, like big people. Oh, I don't know. Paul Fig was on it. Now he's a big director. And then uh, who else is on it? I mean, everybody, you know, Farley. I had all my friends on it. I don't know if Jed had. Oh, okay, look at the thing. Uh, but I would have you on it if you Thanks. were on it. Thank you for doing my Wednesday nights at the Laugh Factory. Free yes. Toronto Point people, 8 to 10 every Wednesday. We have a great show. Joel Manicor books it. And, uh, His email is Joel. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be horrible. Uh, I do Tom Morrow's show at the Laugh Factory You're when so I can. Funny. It's great. It's so much fun. You're so funny, and people come down, we have a great time. We do have a great time. Laugh Factory is the best. Yeah. And uh, one last thing to say just before we leave off. Uh, Smokey Tuesday says, tell Tom Arnold that if he made a show of just him speaking, I would tune in every week. Oh, His I love you. Oh, no, I love you. I love so. you. Thank you very much for saying that. And I'll, I'll be at the Denver Comedy Works this weekend. Yeah, Next plug weekend it. Plug in all Chicago, yourself. somewhere improv, maybe. And my fiance is going to Oprah, and she cried when I got her tickets. What is that about? Oh, uh, because she's going to get a lot of free stuff, like cars and oh, I sweaters. Wish. I <laughs> hope it's that show. But anyway, uh, thank yeah. you for saying that. You're very nice. Uh, we actually, we can't get Oprah tickets, but we can get anyone Wendy Williams tickets. So if anybody wants to vomit <laughs> and then die, we'll get you some of those. Or Tyra I, Banks. Do you remember the, when, the, the girl that had the show in New York and that she'd actually blow the gas? What? Like Wendy O. Williams that was in the plasmatics? I swear. What a great, you know, get, you know, have something you get you've, a goodie bag. You've lived a bit more than I have. I wasn't on that show, <laughs> but that's what used to happen. She was a public access show in New York, like, about 25 years ago. And she was in the plasmatic. She used a chainsaw thing. You know, she had, like, a, and then she would, but that's how she would thank her guests. This was 25 years them. ago? 20 years ago, maybe. I'm 26. Yeah. When I was six, I watched a show where this girl get blowjobbed and chainsawed people in half. Do you great. remember that we had a civil war? Were you born then? No. Uh, I don't think what about the, World I don't War II? I was born in either. I don't think the plasmatics and a blowjob giving host are uh, ingrained in history. I, I, will, I believe you, they in, are. Ingrained in Tom Please write in if you remember that. Please, everyone. Please write in. Wendy, Willi Wendy o. Williams with Plasmatics. Do you want to give them your Twitter uh, address? Your Twitter name? Yeah, what is it? What is it again, Joel? What is it? Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. Oh, my gosh, it's Tom Arnold. Please Twitter me. And I'll, and I'll read them and check it out. And I really appreciate it. It's so nice when people do that. Tom Arnold, thank do you. Do I have a website? What is it? Tom Arnold Comedy. <laughs> Tom Arnold Comedy. Com. You can see him at the Laugh Factory every... Every Wednesday. Wednesday. 8 to 10 or 11. Usually. I'll be there sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you're great. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You're Thanks very for having nice. me. Thank you. Thank for you. the hard-hitting facts that hold you after. I've been Eliza. This is the Weekly News only on the stream.tv. Please!